In 2014, Taiwan's capital, Taipei, held an election for a new mayor, one of the country's top jobs. But the main opposition party chose not to fill a candidate. Instead, the Democratic Progressive Party backed an independent, a doctor called Ke Wenzhe. Ke rejected the bitter fighting of Taiwan's two biggest parties and promised an alternative third way. Now he's hoping to bring his own party, the Taiwan People's Party, to the nation's highest office. With elections less than four months away, the former two-term mayor of Taipei has set his sights on the presidency. This is Ke Wenzhe explained. Ke Wenzhe is no stranger to the spotlight. Before he entered politics, he was a pioneering surgeon known for performing organ transplants. But his popularity as a doctor drew scrutiny. Ke faced multiple accusations of embezzlement and malpractice, which he denied on social media. After months of media attention and online support, Ke announced his run for the 2014 Taipei mayoral election. The DPP tried to convince him to run on their ticket, but Ke rejected representing either one of Taiwan's major parties. Instead, he won a historic victory as an independent candidate. Ke did well in Taipei, at least well enough to win a second term. And soon after that, he formed his own party, the Taiwan People's Party. With the TPP, Ke promises voters a third force, one that can move past the entrenched conflict between Taiwan's two major parties, the Kuomintang, represented by the color blue, and the DPP, whose color is green. So uh, his famous quote is that the blue parties and the green parties are equally bad, so that um, he's a, a highly attractive for the voters who are dissatisfied with, with uh, not only uh, DPP, but also uh, the blue parties. On the issue of China, Ke says, unlike the government, he's willing and able to talk with Chinese officials, something he did at a city-to-city -city level as mayor of Taipei. Ke is known for being outspoken and straightforward, something many voters find appealing. He's quite flexible on everything, so he's trying to avoid to have his own opinion on the specific policies. But he's very good at pointing out the uh, um, disadvantage of the government, also disadvantage of other parties. Taiwan is no stranger to third parties, generally on the sidelines of mainstream politics. But Ke and the Taiwan People's Party have proven themselves resilient. They've risen as a formidable challenger to Taiwan's traditional two-party system. Ke has already won one of the most coveted seats in Taiwan. So the question now is, can he step up from capital to country and become the next president?